Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to set this motor for up today. It's for my uh, 1979 Mercury Capri RS turbo uh, project. It's an RS without the turbo actually, but we're going to build this uh, motor for right now. I'm going to assemble it. Got this for Father's Day and this is the Laguna Beach setup. Okay. And uh, this is the model right here. This is the base unit right here. And uh, it comes with all these accoutrements as you can see. See if I can get something to point with. Right here is the bezel. Okay. Right here is the face plate. Let me get the face plate out for you. Right there, see? There's a face plate. You can see the plug in, whatnot. It's got the push button options. The reason I went with that guys is I didn't want to cut a hole in my dash. You know, because I've got this classic car and I've always had to go to the junkyards, like I said, to get these cassette radios because they're so hard to find now until I found retro radio and they hooked me up with this uh, Laguna Beach setup <clears throat> you can see this one's got all the whistles and bells I'm told the Laguna Beach one see it's got the subwoofer right here and uh, 15 amp fuse plug-ins and these clearly labeled and uh, you get the directions online guys it's really easy but it's pretty well self-explanatory so and uh, you can even remotely uh, mount these, I'm told. You can actually mount this deck somewhere else other than, you know, if you've got tight space or whatever. I don't know. And uh, here's the little knobs that it comes with. Okay. And those plug in. Those are cool. Then I went with uh, the still black plated ones. Because as far as I remember, that's pretty close to what I had in my Capri in 79. I bought it in 1984. 85 somewhere right there and uh, had an 8-track stereo system in it had the deluxe system and After time, you know, I wanted the new cassettes because that's what everybody had and then later the CD But I never could bring myself to cut cut the dash out for the CD So I'm so glad I waited. So let's put this together guys and uh, First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this unit and this unit and marry them. Okay See if I can get us in there and what we're going to do is, first thing you do is plug this in, obviously, right? Okay, that's a nice little snug fit. And then we'll put it together, set it accordingly. Like that, okay. And I'm kind of weird. I build RC cars and whatnot, and so I uh, lock tight everything. Well, here's another cool feature, guys. On this, it's got the, I can put this on here, so it really makes it look like the old AM, FM radio. And, you know, your local thief won't try to steal it, hopefully. And uh, we've had a lot of problems in our areas with that. So, okay, now these go right here. I'm going to take the, they come in a small orange bag. If I can get it started. There we go. Okay. They come in this bag right here, guys. Okay, right there. And so, they come with everything. These guys are so awesome to work with. I'm so excited. I have uh, a couple more projects. I have a 71 Bronco that's ready for radio. It's completely restored. And uh, these are projects I've had my whole life, guys. And uh, I've been saving up and saving up. And now that I'm old and retired, I'm finishing them all. Wish I could have done it when I was younger, but oh well. At least we have the money now. Okay, now we put these on like that. Okay. And then we are Groovy Tuesday on that setup. And then I'm actually going along with the direction, guys, right online, right there. We're just doing this on, on the fly. Let's see. secret password okay now number two let's see and get through all this stuff okay now this is what we just did here guys step one plug that in use these small screws there's four of them okay right there and you have to doesn't matter which way you put them in and then uh next thing we're going to do is take these daddy o's out and they're clearly marked uh left and right so let's see. Which one's that? Yeah, no, it is. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. 
And then we take these screws. There's eight of them. They're these right here. Okay. And like I say, I'm kind of weird. It says you only need, you need just at least two of them. And I'm just going to go with the real rough, loose fit right now, guys. Until I get out into the car and actually uh, install it. But it's really easy here. I like it. If you're like me, a hands-on kind of guy, you like to do this stuff yourself. He's banging anyways. Secret to it. Make sure you don't tighten all four of these down so you can sit there and kind of adjust it. You know what I mean? Some adjustification on the situation. Yeah, see how easy that moves around, guys? That's awesome. Guess you can get it in the hole. There you go. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Okay, guys, I'm just going to snug them up like that. Okay. I'll bring you in closer in just a second and show you what I'm doing. See, check this out, guys, right here. See, it's just, you got these four mounting holes. And, uh,. You want to make sure you keep enough room here so you can get your uh, uh, knobs plugged in. But that's all it is. See, just like that. Just kind of get it, you know, wherever. Like I say, I uh, overbuild stuff. I put Loctite on everything. I come from aerospace. So I'm a retired aerospace dude. I used to do hot press form they called it SPF super plastic forming where you form stuff at 1650 degrees and go into these giant ovens and literally catch on fire but anyways this isn't story time can shut up okay anyways back to the subject I'm gonna put these four bolts on guys like I say I'm just gonna adjust them really just quicky icky here Page two. Now we're going to take these. And it looks like they're both the same, guys. So it doesn't look like we have to matter too much. And what you do is you got these things right here, like the old telephone plugs. Boom. That click sounds cool, doesn't it? Newness, clickiness. So satisfying. Okay, and then we break into this one lovely package you're supposed to let's see he's getting all straight i can't stand having stuff not organized that's the aerospace in me everything was <clears throat> just so so what we do Take one of them, one of these. You can put it in. Goes in this one right here, guys. Looks like it can go. Look at that. You can go in multiple spots depending on your situation. So I'm pretty sure mine's gonna have to go right there. Let's see if they show the next page. Nope. So, got that one on the thing, one on the knuckle washer. Alright guys, this is fun. I used to build a lot of models when I was a kid. I always had dreams of putting motors in them and whatnot. And shaft guys and uh, take one of 
dishwasher dealios. Slap that baby there. You can see how it's grooved. It's got flat here, flat here, then round. That's so you can uh, you can move side to side, you know, for your adjustments. This is showing the nut on first in the washer. That seems weird. Come on. That's how it goes. Let's see if I go. So, put that daddy o right there. Pick that one back up. We did that from backwards. Completed backwards. Had a 50 50 shot, and I didn't get it. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, this is one of the last parts of my car build. I've been building it for like just over a year and a half for the final rebuild. Okay, now we got that uh, step five done. Got these plugged in. We got these set. We got the adjuster, the tighteners all fastened. And now it's all up to wiring the radio up, dudes. And uh, this is where you got to go put it in your car and whatnot. So this is it. And let's go ahead and throw some of these on so we can see what it looks like. I know we're all dying to. I know I am. So, let's do this, guys. Get a taste for the situation. Oh yeah, look at this, guys. Look at this. You know, guys, I totally recommend these guys. These are awesome. These are well built. The quality is just, look, this is... Ordered the metal ones. Listen to that. all right guys uh i don't think i'll do an install video because that's going to be pretty lengthy but i will do uh after it's done get it uh do like a grand reveal so to speak and then it just goes like that So there we have it guys. This is the Laguna Beach Motor 4 from uh, Retrosound. And like I say, you go into your site, plug into what year of car you have, what make, what model, and it'll come up with a pretty close facsimile. And uh, once I put the faceplate on, you know, put that in, that's gonna look just like a stock stereo, guys. It's gonna look good. So there you have it guys. I hope you like this and uh, this Capri project's been kind of lengthy, but you know how that goes. And so, uh, if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys later. Thank you.